Hey guys, what is up? This is Cody, or X Cody. How's it going today? Seriously, how's it going? All right, you guys never tell me how, how's it going. I never see any comments like, hey, I'm having a good day. Hey, I'm having a bad day. Today's video, I have a life story for you guys. This was one of the most requested stories for me to go back and uh, recollect on and make another YouTube video about. So yeah, hopefully you enjoy, man. Advanced cotton mouth. One of the... I think this is definitely like a fan favorite. I don't like calling you guys fans. That was weird. A lifted legend favorite. I remember the thumbnail of this video. It was a picture of a seal that looked like it was crying. So maybe I'll have to do that again. The story took place back around sophomore year in high school. Uh, if you guys don't know what sophomore year, for the people overseas that live in other countries, high school in America goes freshman, sophomore, junior, senior. So it's four years of high school. Imagine if I got one of those wrong, huh? I know it's a little bit different than other countries, but yeah, just to clarify that. I was, so I was in my second year of high school. I was probably about, I think I was about 15 years old. It was right before the summer where I got arrested and got put on probation. It was, it was a really fun time. I'm not going to lie. I used to do the wildest shit. It was getting towards the end of the year and we had, we had this friend that lived really close to the school. We'd go there almost every day to smoke because it was one of the only spots we felt safe to actually smoke because we were young, dude. We were really, really young kids. All the cops knew that we'd smoked weed because we dressed like potheads. It was just a really chill spot, all right? It was me, my homie since second grade. If you're watching this, what's up, dude? I don't even know if he watches the videos. I don't know why I always say that, but what's up, dude? It was me, him, and a couple other people, and obviously the people that lived there, you know? We just went over his house when he wasn't there, you know? Break in and smoke weed. We go over there, and uh, we go into his room. Immediately, we have to walk past his parents. His parents hated the shit out of us, okay? He, they hated us with a passion because we'd always go there to smoke weed. So like every time we'd go there, we'd just get yelled at in another language too. Like they didn't speak that good English. So they would just like scream at us at this other language. I don't even know what language it was, but they would just like yell, get out, get out. Like they knew that, they knew that in English. Get out, go, get out. And we'd all just be like, keep walking in the room, you know, like it was really terrible, honestly. But we get in the room and once we were in there, it was really chill. They had like, you know, two couches set up. They had, uh, you know, posters everywhere. We all, you know, the whole place smelled like Axe cologne. That's for another story. <laughs> that was, <laughs> but then he had like a computer desk and this was one of the most memorable computer desks that I'll ever remember. Okay. That, that I've ever seen. <sighs> oh God. So it was kind of like a normal desk, you know, normal computer desk. You'd see, uh, there was a monitor, mouse pad, keyboard and mouse, you know, just the normal things. I'm sure you're like, Cody, get on with it here. Okay. So I'm drinking coffee here out of a styrofoam cup. It's perfect. Absolutely perfect for this part of the story because there was about 15, 20 moldy, old, half filled with juice, styrofoam cups. Oh, it's kind of gross to drink out of one after that. But that wasn't the, that wasn't the greatest part about it because there was about three normal glasses, normal drinking glasses, glass glasses, filled to about right here with cigarette butts. There was cigarette ash all over the desk too, dude. The grimiest desk I'd ever seen, dude. I, I'm not gonna lie, I've had mine get pretty fucking messy, but like, damn, like the amount of mold, bro. Anyways, we're all sitting on the couch and he, he has this really nice Roar uh, branded bong which is uh, one of like the OG brands for bongs, I'd say. It's been around forever. It was also one of the most faked bongs, but this one was real, okay? It was really thick, it was huge, nice beaker bottom at the at the bottom. It had a broken ice catcher. <laughs> this fucking just shattered glass that would rattle back and forth whenever you'd hit it. And on the top, it had three Rasta beads that would go around the mouthpiece. So cool, dude. One of the coolest bongs I've ever, I've always wanted one of them, but they're like $300, why, why? why we're all sitting in the circle and we're just hitting it having a fantastic time i remember i was so excited to smoke i was so young i didn't really have a lot of money for weed and it was great it was phenomenal i couldn't even take that big of a hit but my home is in second grade he was a monster he's iron lungs level 99. he's the kind of person that he could clear a whole bowl in a bong and you could pack more weed into it and he'd keep going crazy i remember he took a monster hit and just you know he had like the the coughing fit you know, the sweat rolling down the face, the just the eyes feel like they're swollen, just like the, the heat in the back of the neck, you know what I mean? He was dying. And I remember he was like, dude, can I get some water, bro? He looked over to the dude sitting at the computer chair, and he's just like, damn, about that. Uh, yeah, I can't, dude. My parents won't let me. 
And I'm sitting there like really stoned because this bong has hit me. And I'm like, why can't you just go and get a glass of water? Like, it's your house, dude. Like, I was, I was so mind fucked. I was like, wait, what? I've never heard anybody say no to that. You know what I mean? Like, and he's just like, oh, okay, bro. Like, all right, yo, do you have any Altoids, Cody? Because I was the Altoids, man. All right, you can ask any of my friends. All right, I always have Altoids. They used to call me that, but yeah, I fucking love Altoids, dude. They're so good. I didn't have any normal Altoids today. They were out, surprisingly. Like, nobody ever buys Altoids, but they didn't have the kind I liked. So I got the mini Altoids. Let me explain what Altoids are for anybody that doesn't know. Okay, you ever walk outside when it's negative 10 degrees outside and just breathe in that winter air that kind of just like feels like razor blades going down your down your throat and just like makes your inner core just shiver immediately. It's kind of like that experience, but just in a mint. But these Altoids I had, they weren't even just the normal Altoids. They were like, you take a normal ski slope, you know, a sledding hill. That's Altoids. Let's bring it up to Mount Everest. Okay, I don't know if that's a good analogy, but... It was like they took an Altoid and they extracted just the mint and they just put it in this tiny little mint, this little tiny thing. So I handed him this little mini box of Altoids. I'll put a picture on screen. I'm not sponsored by them, I wish. I handed him this, this little tin and he's like, oh, thank you, dude. Oh, fuck yeah. And this dude opens the tin. He pours out like a quarter of it. Like, like I'm talking like 15 or 20 of these little things. And I'm sitting there like... Like, I, I thought he was joking. I thought I thought he was making a joke, like, pouring them out, like, haha, dude, yeah, yeah, put them all in your mouth, do it. Like, I was just, like, laughing at him. And he just puts the whole thing and starts chewing, starts munching them down, dude. And I'm like, yo, holy... And he just swallows it. Like, he doesn't even, like, regard anything I'm saying. He's just... He just swallows it. Like, it's nothing, bro. And I'm like, 10 minutes go by, dude. I, I'm like, dude, you just made a huge mistake, bro. Like, that is fucked. You, you just... You no, know, bro. No, I can't even eat two of those at once, man. This dude eating 15 or 20. No, bro. I was I was scared for him. I was legit scared. I'm kind of scared thinking about it, bro. It was, it was literally like I knew the worst thing ever was about to happen, man. 10 minutes go by. Not even 10 minutes. Like I'm talking maybe maybe five minutes go by. He is pale as Casper the ghost, dude. He has no color in his face. Like I, he looked like a dead body, dude. He's, he's sitting there like, Oh, he, he looks like he can't see straight. He's like this drool coming out of his mouth, dude. He was not having a good time. And he, he looks over to my, the, the dude at the computer. He's like, dude, please give me some water, bro. He's freaking out. He's like, dog, I can't, man. My parents, like, they won't let me. They'll kick you all you guys out. Like, relax. Like, just, you're good. <laughs> and he was not good, bro. He was not. He's like, dude, I gotta go to your bathroom. Like, he, he couldn't even make a, like, a sentence with his mouth. Is like... I don't know, he's telling me his throat was like closing up or it felt like it was because it was just so much mint, dude. He's like, ah, go to the bathroom. And he just like runs to the bathroom and I hear the sink come on. And he, it sounds like a dog trying to, trying to drink water, dude. Like there's, there's the noises he's making in the sink, dude. It sounded like he was inhaling the water. And I don't think that did a lot for him. Because about, you know, a minute later, I just hear projectile vomit. Like, I don't like that shit, dude. I, I really, I really don't like seeing hearing or any of that dude it was nasty it was absolutely like there was nothing left let's just say that he came back in like 10 minutes later dude he looked he looked still looked so pale he looked sick dude like he looked like he was fucked and i'm like dude are you okay bro and he's like yeah i'm fine I i'm okay now but that was horrible that was that was horrible dude i'll never forget his face it, it, it went from super stoned chilling having a good time to like death just just absolute death so yeah hopefully you enjoyed this this story man i know it wasn't like the craziest story i've ever told on my channel but i figured i'd retell it because it was one of the funnier ones man like <laughs> this dude put so many altoids in his mouth there's a lot of fucking crazy stories that happened in that house man but hopefully you guys enjoyed this one leave a like if you did subscribe for more and follow my cat on Instagram. It's very important. Most important out of anything, honestly. All right. Yeah. Stay high, stay lifted, and stay snazzy. Peace.